All right, this is probably going to be another quick one. This is Evan Rogers coming at you with Evan's Easy Japanese JLPT N5 vocabulary tests. Uh, we're just we're just plugging and chugging, trying to figure out what these words mean and what a suitable synonym. The word synonym is same meaning but different word. Um, let's jump in. Basically, you either know what the words mean or you don't. Uh, so that's that, that's rough. But dictionaries exist, so that dictionaries exist, so that will help. Allow me to enunciate my words better. Kono dansu wa yasashii desu. All right, so kono this, and there's a noun after it, dansu. So this dance. You, you'll never guess that danzu means dance. Uh, it's rough to, to to put those two together. But kono danzu wa. So as for this dance, it is whatever comes after it. And then the thing that comes after it is generally more important than what comes before it. Like nobody actually cares that we're talking about this dance. What we care about is that we're saying it's yasashi des. Yasashi is an e adjective. It means easy. And then uh, des means it is. Uh, however, um, after an e adjective, des kind of doesn't have the word is in it because e adjectives already have the idea of is in them. Uh, because I have an e adjective workbook, and you can kind of see how that works if you donate donate at the five dollar subscription level with Patreon and Subscribestar or or Subscribestar. Uh, but I'll stop yakking about that. You'll see how that works in that packet, um, and I've talked about it in previous videos. So to save time, I'll uh, just talk about how "des" here basically just means I'm being polite. All right. So number one, kono danswa. Looks like all of them start with kono danswa, kono danswa, kono danswa, kono danswa, uh, and they all end in "des, des, des, des." So what we need to focus on is this last, this middle to last word. Uh, this one, "kantan." Kantan means simple. Which, there goes all the suspense. Basically, the same thing as yasashi, right? Best answer is number one. Taihen, difficult. Tanoshi is fun. Tsumaranai is boring. All right, so tsumaranai is boring isn't the same thing as fun. Or sorry, isn't the same thing as easy up here. Tanoshi, fun, isn't necessarily easy. Taihen, difficult, is literally the opposite of uh, yasashi. We have kantan, uh, is easy. Uh, or actually, this one isn't is easy. This is just simple or, um, you know, easy, simple. Uh, okay, so really quickly, this is a not adjective, and so is number two a not adjective. But three and four keep the e adjective pattern. Um, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Uh, not adjectives only change how they function uh, when you try to change their tense or their negativity or positivity. You have to change what happens to the copula. Or you have to change, um, or oh, and before they come, what be if they come before a noun, they get a na little. It's t it's it's like a particle, but I've been told it's not a particle. It's a form of the copula, apparently. But that's all fancy words for they operate slightly differently than e adjectives, and thus they're a separate verb, uh, separate word group. I've yacked on for too long, even though this is a short video. Uh, you're probably sick of my voice and my ugly mug, my chrome dome. Have yourselves a great day. Peace out, guys.